Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome to the Long Dark. As I said in Colot, I was excited to actually go back to the Long Dark because it's been so long since I've played it. We have like probably 10 or 11 updates since last I played and I'm excited to get back to it. If you don't know what the Long Dark is, it's a survival sim and it is fucking hard as balls and I love it. So. Man, let's play some Long Dark. And also, if you're curious, I've played this <coughs> a bunch in the past. You can go back and watch like two or three different series I've done of it. And I wanted to revisit it. Now, this will be very similar to the way that I ended up pl that I play Honey Pop and uh, Colot. Where it won't be every day, but it'll be often enough. Uh, so, we can do three different difficulties. Last one I ever played was Stalker, which is really, really, really fucking hard. Um, but I'm more... Gameplay is tuned to be more realistic wherever this makes experience more challenging. I'm actually going to go ahead and play Stalker mode again, because that's what I played last time. I'm not entirely sure if it's good or not, or if it's a good idea to do that right off the bat or not, after having not played for so long that I'm going to. Pleasant Valley is locked. I don't know if that means I have to visit it first, or if it's just not available yet. I'm going to go ahead and hit random, though, and it'll put me between one of these two, and we can start up and uh, see what we start with, see how the game has changed, and I'm very excited just to get back into it. It's been so long. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we already know this. <coughs> we are starting at night. Oh, sweet Jesus. We're starting at night. All right, let's open up our bag. Let's take a look. We've got some gloves, which are already equipped, a bedroll, a set of matches, a little bit of underwear, which is keeping us warm, a couple flares, which we might want to keep equipped, some meds, not many, painkillers, and just basic stuff. So our first order of business, uh, being that we are basically completely fucked, uh, is to find shelter because it's late. It's seven hours of darkness appro approximately left. Um, I think we're on the coastal highway. I'm pretty sure that's where it started us. My, my issue isn't necessarily that it's nighttime, though that is a huge problem. Actually, that is my issue. But it's nighttime during... A time where, uh, or during a difficulty where I could get completely wrecked for this. All I need to find is shelter for the night. That's all I need to find. If we can find somewhere to hole up for the evening, I'm, I'm going to be okay with it. So we have some car here. Uh, nothing here. We can go in the back. The trunk is locked. Can we actually sleep in here? I don't know if we can actually sleep in here. Uh, we're gonna search this car for a little bit of food, though. I'm sorry if you can't see. I can barely see as well. Uh, these, I found a flare, an energy bar that's really good. Um, and the reason this is good... I don't think I can wait, either. Uh, the reason the flare is good is because there's a very good chance we're gonna need to use it to fend off wolves... ...shortly. That is nothing useful. Our best bet is gonna be to follow the highway as far as we possibly can. Until we come across shelter. Now, if this is the coastal highway, which I'm thinking it is because of the giant lake to our right-hand side, um, this will, at some point, give way to houses and shelter. I'm just... I'm... <laughs> I'm concerned we're going to be eaten by wolves beforehand. I'm also con... I'm pretty sure there's bears in the game now, which is fucking scary. Uh, so we gotta keep that in mind. I think I see a house way out there. I think I see the shape of a house. Guys, I promise. It's dark for you. It's dark for me as well. I don't want to waste flares, though. That would be a very poor survival decision. The thing about this game, if you've never seen it before, and I, it's probably on Steam Summer Sale right now <coughs> by the time this is going up, is it's all about realism. Uh, if you want to check it out for yourself. It's all about maintaining calories, heat, food, water. And what's great about it is if, if you don't like playing it, it does make for great watching. I love watching people play this game. Alright, so immediately we're just going to go ahead into this fishing camp. We did come across a fishing camp, so I kind of know where I am a little bit. There's a bed here. Oh, thank God. Uh, how many hours until... We have seven hours of darkness left. Let's go ahead and rest the seven hours for now. We need to get through this, um, through the night. We can't do anything at night. It's just, especially just starting. Especially just starting. What the fuck? Can I go outside? Is there anything going on out here? Why is the window shaking? Okay, it's snowing out. That's fine. Why was it super dark in there is my question. That's really, really weird. 
could be a bug where it is still in development, but it's one of those development early access games that is actually really well done so far. All right. <coughs> I can't see absolutely like anything. And that's a real shame because I can't loot. How are we looking as far as food and thirst? So our food and thirst is really, really low. Um, yeah, our thirst needs some work, but that's okay. We can't really do anything about it right now. Let's just, let's just hit the cabins in the houses nearby. I don't, I'm not going to run. I'm not going to sprint. I don't want to burn calories more than I have to. Our current calorie count is pretty bad. Where is our calorie count? They changed some things, so I'm a little bit confused. This is, this is, oh, our calories are right here. So yeah, we still have some calories, about 1,400 calories. We got a while before we need to really concern ourselves with it. I might actually nap for another hour in hopes of the sun coming up a little bit further. The problem is it's snowing already, which does worry me a bit. Uh, and the reason it's worrying me a bit is because if a storm hits, which is something you have to concern yourself with in this game is weather, uh, the storm could kill you. The, just getting lost in the storm could be really, really bad. So we just found a premium winter jacket, and I'm not gonna lie, that's fucking awesome. Uh, this is all very new. What is all this? Can I, okay, I can sort by clothing. So let's wear this, and that's gonna warm us up quite a bit, which is good. I'm not seeing anything to eat or drink. Backpack, we'll see what's inside of it. Nothing. Because we're playing on one of the hardest difficulties as well, we're looking at getting our asses probably uh, constantly starving. Constantly needing to starve. The fact that I can actually see in here means I don't, I don't necessarily want to nap for another hour. Time is also a huge thing you need to manage in this game, and if you're not managing it properly, you can get killed. Uh, so saying, you know, actually not napping for another hour gives us an extra in-game hour to, to scavenge, which is why I'm happy to not do it anymore. More painkillers is always welcome. Eventually, what we're going to want to do is find what I would consider a home base, a building that we can call our own, and start unloading our supplies there and actually making it livable. Uh, but we're a little bit too early to do that, especially here. Cold soup. Some reclaimed wood could be really good to starting a fire if we really need to cook something up. Um, one of my biggest enemies in this game, and it's a personal way I play, and it's a bad thing that I do, is uh, verticality. Uh, they do put things up on racks above you and I'm so used to not having to do that. It can get me killed now That's a wolf Sprinting on the lake and I'm not quite sure why he's like booking it um, All right, let's keep going. It's a little bit. It's a little bit worrisome But we're not gonna worry about it too much now any and all clothes I'll probably grab for now because if we can't put it on we can at least tear it apart and use it for some good, you know, supplies later. Um, really nothing in here. I've been, it's been a little bereft of loot right now. We're gonna hit the road, I think, soon. And by road, I actually do mean we're gonna stick on the road. I'm gonna try and hit that, that building one more time. The only reason that I might even consider coming back here and making this home base, as long as there are things within lootable distance, is because it does have a, a workshop back here that we can actually use sewing kit actually really good uh, and we can craft things here and we can craft a lot of things uh, we don't have any tools but we can craft all kinds of good stuff hooks snares lines fishing tackle rabbit skin mitts just lots and lots of things and it looks like the crafting system has been drastically overhauled and it looks a lot better than last time I played I'm very curious what they've changed I I'm sure they've made a lot of balancing changes since I've played but I'm curious what exactly uh, we're going to be looking at that's going to be different uh, as far as gameplay mechanics are concerned. Uh, stuff that's going to stick out to me. Not just back-end numbers, like the way calories burn. Alright. I hear a dog. Let's run. Alright, that's a new noise. Oh, fuck. Flare. Okay, hopefully he'll back off. See, this is why flares are massively important. I heard him. I didn't see him. Looks like Wolves got a new model as well. Yeah, alright, that's fine. That's a weird noise. It actually doesn't. It sounds like he's in a house. It doesn't sound great, I'll say that much. It doesn't sound bad either. It was scary though. He's fucking still sprinting at me, isn't he? Could you please back up? 
Is he not gonna back up? Right, he needs to back up. We could just jump into this car and hope that he'll go away. They are so aggressive. Wow, wow, wow. Super fucking aggressive, man. Now we're gonna keep running. Yeah, I'm freezing now. I don't think there's a way I can get him off my back without a weapon. He might even just attack me. He got very, very, very close there. I don't think I can really... Oh, is there another one? Let's keep... Stay on the road. If we stay on the road, we run a little bit faster than when we run on the snow. Fuck, man. He is on my ass. Back up! Dude, back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm gonna do a running thing. And you're gonna leave me alone. Hopefully line of sight actually matters in this game. I don't think it does. No, he's back on the road. Fuck me. Run, 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 run. If this goes out, I'm fucked. Luckily, flares last a while. At least they used to in this game. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I'm actually starting to take damage now because I'm freezing. I'm out in the, the weather and I'm actually starting to freeze a little bit to death. It's a huge problem. This wolf early on is such a problem. I couldn't even see him. I'm surprised he saw me. I didn't see him at all. But line of sight, I guess, doesn't fucking matter all that much. And there's another one to my right hand side. I can hear him. We lost one, I think. The other one is gonna show up soon now. And it looks like the sun is going down again. No! Back off! Ah, oh, fuck. So when you get attacked, you can fend them off. It looks like he finally backed up. Uh, but fighting them off is a little bit more tricky than like other games. It's not an actual combat system as much as it is like a timed kind of button press system, almost QTE-like. Fuck off, dude. Right, let's get in here. You can sprain Sorry, ankles. Yes, 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 I know. You can sprain your ankles and shit if you're not careful. Gotta be careful about that. You don't want to do that. We need a pry bar to pop those open. Man, we are super far away from anything lootable. I'm glad I did not make that fishing uh, camp. My uh, camp. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're thirsty, dude. Look, I would love to help you out here and get you getting something to drink and shit, but we haven't come across anything. I think we're about to come across the village. Uh, that I was in before Which is great and I'm glad this thing has lasted as long as it has yeah We're about to enter a little townhouse, so we are definitely on the coastal highway We gotta get into this house and hopefully this fucking wolf will back the fuck up Just get me in a house I'm Actually gonna drop this right at the door and head inside Man, that was fucking scary. All right, we're back indoors. We're not gonna freeze to death anymore. And now we can start looting for food and drink. Hopefully, maybe, if we're lucky. Some raw fish, I mean, interesting. We could just put it in there. We're probably gonna spend the night in here anyway. We don't want the fish to go bad. Now, one of the things I've praised this game for in the past and I'm gonna praise it for again, outside of the wolf barking thing, which sounded a little bit weird, is the game's audio design. Because there's no actual animations for looting outside of a door opening and a bar filling, what have we uh, they've chosen to kind of compensate that with a really good sound design. So hearing things shuffling around is awesome. I love it. We're not coming across pretty much anything good here. We do have condensed milk. That soda's gonna be massively important. I'm gonna take a look here. As far as our th thirst is concerned, it's really, really bad. So we're gonna go ahead and drink this soda. It's not gonna do much. It's gonna give us a few calories to work with. Uh, but outside of that, it's not gonna do much. Condensed milk. I don't know if we can combine it with anything. Again, it's been a while since I've played. Thirst has gone down a bit, which is good. Uh, okay. That's new. I already did this. All right, interesting. The microwave can open now. I, I bet you there's going to be things in it. I should not assume anything and try and interact with everything. One of the, th the things this game does really well, again, and I apologize if I sound like I'm repeating myself from the series I did many months ago, is, uh, is atmosphere. This game is super creepy without any actual horror involved in the game. At least, no horror that I know of. 
We'd love to see a Halloween update that adds like zombies and ghosts though. Not necessarily zombies, but at least ghosts. That would be awesome. And I would hate them for it. So we already have these. Uh, we don't want to wear these because it's going to give us uh, more. Oh, this wind chill now? Shit. Alright, so the ones we picked up are worse. There's wind chill now. That wasn't part of the game prior. Alright, that's going to be interesting. I don't know how that's going to affect things. At least it wasn't part, a major part of the gameplay, anyway. So what we have is way better. Now, as clothes, clothing degrades, it will become worse and you want to do repairing. That's what sewing kits are for. And we can take apart other pieces of clothing that we have to give us the supplies that we need. This is very, very good. We need to take all the water. Toilet water, yes, please, we need you badly. So we got some water. Uh, antibiotics, which is great. Uh, if this was a bath, I could do something with it, but it's not. I wonder if they plan on adding an insanity mechanic to the game. I feel like being alone in the wilderness would definitely make someone go insane. So it looks like that's everything we can actually manage in this house. I might actually drink a little bit of the water now that we have it. So let's go ahead and drink. Now he'll only he'll always drink to fix his thirst completely. So we just drank a pound of water essentially. Uh, that should have fixed us completely as far as thirst is concerned. Mm, the wolf might still be out here, and that does of course worry me. And there is a wolf there. Let's just move further back. There's a wolf there too. That's probably the wolf that was hunting me, the one that went sprinting, not necessarily. Um, it looks like we have enough space here where we don't have to worry about it too much. Let's get into the car and let's do a little bit of quick looting here. Glad I popped in here. There's a soda. Two sodas. Very useful. Anything on here? No, I forgot to check the visors of the other one, but that's okay. Radios still don't work. Don't know if there'll ever be a moment where they will. Can't check the mailboxes. But we have a house we can actually do a little bit of looting in. And the lighting in this game is very pretty sometimes. Or all the time, really. Sometimes when you get a nice high vantage point and you're out at night and there's like a clear sky. God, this game is fucking stunning. Alright. More fridge. Definitely tin of sardines. Can pretend I'm playing DayZ a bit. More raw fish. And uh, what we're hoping for here is just, just a bulk of that food and drink. Handy. Um, what I'm probably going to do is start looking to make one of these buildings in this little complex uh, my home. And I already know which one I want to do because it's big. Um, and it's right next to the road. But the downside of doing a building next to the road, which is also near the lake, is that there's more apt to have wolves near it. So if I do this one back here, <laughs> the one I'm in actually right here, could be better. It might actually be considerably safer and we might want to we, we definitely need to consider that when doing this nothing in the microwave we already checked that i don't know why i'm popping it open again we have two things of raw fish so cooking that could be good i don't know if we need to scale and gut the fish i wouldn't put it past this game to go to that level of realism if we need to uh we don't have the tools to do it so we're gonna need to find tools to make it so that we can actually gut and uh make the fish edible I'm assuming we're going to need to. It's very possible that we don't. We'll see. So some cotton socks. No basements implemented in the game. There's a, we can definitely loot this. Oh, we already did. All right, let's go upstairs. There's a chance we come across a couple dead bodies up here. Keep that in mind. Don't be spooked, friends. It's all good. The only time that spooks me is if it's like around the corner. And I didn't expect it. But you do come... Dead bodies are great in this game. They make for fantastic storage. I promise. We'll probably use a couple. Newsprint. Very good for Tinder to start a fire. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Water for purification tablets. For water we probably pull from the lake. More water from a water bottle. Look, suddenly our water problems are not a big concern. And even our food problems are not nearly that bad. We'll probably put on the sweater. Let's take a look at uh, the sweater here. Not as good as the sweater we're wearing. Mittens, on the other hand, much better than what we're wearing right now. So I'll definitely put those on. And not much else here. There is a book. 
which for now does only the Tinder thing. We can only rip it, not Tinder the dating service. No, no, no. Uh, it does, we can rip it up and make a Tinder, but later on it hints at that it's gonna be used to teach your character to be better at making things. I missed a drawer. Little socks, it's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna have to take uh, like an actual good look at our inventory. Once we're done looting, we kind of find a place we can t call home, even if only temporarily, which might be this place. But that looks like it's gonna be everything. No more things to loot. So with that being said, welcome to the long dark. Let's end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm very curious to see what the response is gonna be for this particular series. It's been so long since I've done it. If you're excited for it, let me know in the comment sections below. And by hitting that like button, it's the best way to let me know if a new series is something you guys are enjoying. And uh, I guess I'll just see you next time. Bye-bye and try not to freeze to death.